Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review The Banshees of Inna Sharon. And this is the new Martin McDonough film, written and directed by him, composed by Carter Burwell, who's delivered one of the best scores of the whole entire year with this film. And yes, this is my top film of the year so far. Martin McDonough hit a home run with this one for me. I love the fact that he went back to his roots and went to Ireland for this film and it feels so tangible and so fully realized. This takes place in 1920s Ireland on this island of Inisherin. Irish Civil War is going on and you can hear the cannons and the rifle fire from across to the mainland. But we're here. We're on Inisherin. We're con disconnected from the whole world and very much these two lifelong friends all of a sudden, Brendan Gleeson's calm, just like, I don't want to be friends with you anymore. And Colin Farrell's Podrick's just like, what do you mean? what I do to you? And Colm's like, you didn't do anything. And the journey of, like, from the trailers, it's like, there's so much mystery to why, and you're just like, but why? And as you find this out throughout this film, as... McDonough pulls this thread on this relationship, it becomes so interesting and complex because there's reasons why you would support and understand why Colm's feeling the way that he does, but also acknowledging that it's kind of shitty the way that he dealt with it. And then you feel for Podrick, who's just a nice guy. He's the nicest guy probably on this island. And What's wrong? Why would you stop being friends with him? And we can feel those things. And the journeys that both of these characters go on. You have Podrick who starts as this mild-mannered guy and he is pushed to his limits throughout this film. And Colin Farrell, best, asker, uh, best actor nomination should be coming his way because the journey that he is able to take Podrick on and feel every bit of it and be so believable is amazing. Brendan Gleeson is so fantastic. He pushes himself so far to the edges in this film. And you see this evolution of his... And the evolution and the torment inside and the conflicted feelings that he has with his relationship with his friend... And you have Carrie Condon, who plays Siobhan, who is Patrick's sister. And Carrie Condon steals every single scene that she's in. And she has her own journey of, like, she's a middle-aged woman who lives with her brother on this island. And the judgment of these people and the self-isolation of this island and the challenges of that life pressing down on her. And we see that. And you have Barry Keoghan, who plays Dominic, who's like the town town fool, to just put it that way. And he is some other kind of level of energy in this film. His performance is ridiculous and engaging and hilarious. But that's the thing, too. Everybody gets a chance to be funny, because just the dialogue is so darkly funny and pitch perfect in this film. The writing is impressive, the deep themes, like everything means something. The distant firing out there and the danger off this island, but self-isolating and just leaving yourself open to these small town politics and judgment and just cruel people that are on this island. And what's worse? Do you take that chance of leaving and living out in a dangerous world versus this going nowhere, a little town. And the townsfolk, like, you get to the police officer who is Dominic's dad is a p piece of crap. The woman at the mail, on, like, the post office plays who gets the mail is just, like, wants people to spill their rumors and stuff like that. All, of, all those kinds of little old ladies and towns. And this really old woman, this ghoul of a woman who is so creepy and you get and the bartender is hilarious and you get all of this cast of characters and you really feel the small town dynamic and McDonough really knows how to capture a tone and push the limits of his story and the audience and you know there's such 
enjoyable, endearing moments with, like, Patrick and his little donkey or Colm and his beautiful border collie and what those pets, those animals mean in terms of, metaphorically speaking, representing their owners and all the levels of detail in this film are so deeply complex and moving and emotional. And by the end, I was emotionally exhausted. My mouth hurt, uh, my like cheeks hurt from smiling and then laughing. And just, there's so much to get out of this film. It is a beautifully constructed film. Ben Davis's cinematography is gorgeous. This is an experience. And I think that everyone should try experiencing this. This might have taken up... This might have taken from In Bruges as my favorite Martin McDonough film. This worked on so many levels for me, and I just fell in love with this film instantly. I think within five minutes I fell in love with this movie, and I was so ready for everything else. And this whole entire cast is amazing. This deserves a lot of, a lot of recognition in the ward season for this cast and the direction, the composing, all of it. It just all comes together to create the singularity that is this film. But those are my thoughts on the Banshees of Inner Sharon. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.